Hello everyone, Simon here with a review of A Summer with the Shiba Inu. Can you tell why I was interested in this to begin with? <laughs> oh dear, this game does a Hatafu boyfriend and an Avery attorney and it replaces a visual novel that could be told with people with an animal. And it chose my furry shibes. And that was entirely the reason why I was interested and requested a review copy of this game. <laughs> Disclosure up front. Uh, it's been released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, uh, potentially, although I don't see it in any of the promotional materials, but definitely Nintendo Switch and PC. It's a PS4 version you see on your screens. And it tells a story that gives you three endings for your main character with 10 additional bonus endings depending on the different types of characters that you interact and how you interact with them. The story sees you placed as Sid the Shibe, mm, uh, trapped on Shiba Inu Island. <laughs> oh yes, expect terrible dog puns throughout. And you've returned back there after some time away. And it's almost like, to me, it's Hunger Games the Shiba Inu Book Edition? because obviously you're playing as a visual novel. You'll be told through, the story's told through text, dogs dressed in clothes, sitting in uh, houses as photos and occasional drawings. And there's no particular animation to any of this. If they need the characters to move across the screen, it will just pan, move across the screen. I could do these same animations in PowerPoint and they also do not extend beyond some of my very basic visual uh, video editing uh, expertise in moving pictures around a frame. That's all you're getting, some casual low rent audio loops for music as well, and a few barks, and a few growls, and a few errs. <laughs> However, the story isn't terrible. Uh, as Sid, you return back and you're pitched against each other in a battle to become top dog uh, in death matches. However, obviously this is all told through text rather than you actually doing anything because visual novel. You'll be pit against these different dogs and you'll have pendants around uh, your neck. And the idea is that if you break the pendant, you kill the dog and therefore can advance on to the next stage of the battle. So you can become top dog uh, and essentially survive Shiba Inu Island. This is all ran by a nefarious corporation behind the scenes, uh, pulling various strings and trying to keep the island under fear and threat and social hierarchy. There's a lot to be said for uh, what it's trying to do, but I found the first half of the story really convoluted. And the reason why I'd say that is because if it was actually open and told you lots of things that are um, alluded to or kind of purposely kept behind the scenes, it spoils a lot of the later reveals about what's going on on the island. However, it makes no sense to not have characters say certain things. So then it feels like you're just walking through treacle throughout the first 25% of the game. The next 25% of the game is kind of starting to pull away some of those plot uh, devices so that you can actually get some nitty gritty. But you have to have survived all of that to get to the good bit later on where you've got various choices that you can make and then that will determine your ending as you go. Uh, it takes too long to get going. It is quite a decent length of a visual novel. Um, it will take you several hours if you are actually reading it to get through, but um, you're gonna have a bit of a slog early on to get going. Once you get going, you make some informed choices, then you can actually get your own to uh, bespoke ending. Uh, and there's relative payoffs depending on what one you choose. But um, I didn't think that necessarily the payoff to get to that point was worth the wait. And whilst cute shibes can go so far, it cannot make up for plot holes in stories uh, that take too long to get going, uh, that don't really give you the ultimate payoff that you really wanted at the end. If I was to put this um, in like the holy trinity of visual novels that replace humans with animals, Avery Attorney is probably my top of the three. Then the two Hatterful Boyfriend games where you play in the pigeon dating sim. <laughs> then this would be third. And I've played another couple of games that are more like free to play stuff, which were really grim uh, down below and I would avoid most of those. But if you spot this on special, I think it would be potentially worth your time, especially if you're a fan of visual novels. So that's all for a 
summer with the Shiba Inu, my advice, grab a plushie. It's more rewarding and you can stroke it. <laughs> Until next time, you guys take care. Bye for now. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a collection of media projects ran by me. If you like what you see and want to find out more, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support can make so much more possible, be that a like, a comment, a share or a pledge. Thanks for watching.